Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Claudio. Uh, today I, uh, I got a little very cool thing to show you. It's called HID2 uh, AMI, and it's the Swiss Army knife of um, controllers and uh, uh, mouse for the Amiga. It enables you to use many USB. Uh, mouses on the DB9 of the Amiga and joysticks um, with some accessories we can do even more there's a PS2 to USB bang now it's a PlayStation to DB9 adapter you want PS2 Robin Active USB to PS2 mouse adapter bang with this you'll be able to connect almost everything ever made to your Amiga uh, but it's enough of me talking about it uh, we'll need to uh, see uh, how this actually performs on a real system so let me move the camera and uh, we will check everything I have a lot of device to test so let's go the first thing that I tried to do um, when I acquired HID to Ami was to see if I could use it in conjunction with something like this uh, this is a switch uh, it's made to use mouse and joystick uh, connected simultaneously into a port but you can even connect two mo uh, mouses so what I did I uh, connected HID to AMI here with a wireless mouse and the mouse of the Amiga to the other port and then I connected everything and to my surprise let me just <clears throat> okay it's connected and to my surprise well okay. so was that the Amiga, uh, original Amiga mouse, working, and then the wireless one. So the dual adapter works, and this is the third thing that I checked, and I was really surprised to see that I can use both. But another thing you uh, maybe want to do is just to add uh, a scroll wheel, keeping the original beige um, look. Um, you can do it with a mouse like this. Yes, the HID2 AMI support even scroll wheels. Right now it's not enabled here because there is a bug right now with the Pi Storm. So, uh, uh, it freezes the system with scroll wheel, but uh, it works without PyStorm. By the way, uh, this one is PS2, so we can use the active adapter. Bang. We connect the PS2, and we go back here. Remove our wireless mouse dongle. And or install insert the USB one with the PS2 adapter. It's a bit longer. Ah, here we have connected the PS2 mouse. Let's test it quickly. <laughs> Wire mess. <clears throat> oh, here it is. As you can see, oh, it works really well. Right clicking, dragging. Works like a real Amiga mouse. As I said, I don't have enabled the, the scrolling wheel, but it would work. Uh, right now, it's just about with the Pi Storm. So, let's quickly test another thing.
One of the original reason I wanted uh, an adapter like this one was to use uh, this awesome uh, truck ball today, as of today. It's really expensive to buy original uh, devices, so it's easier to find PC parts and just adapt them to the Amiga. The truck, uh, this is my preferred um, truck ball, the, uh, dual scrolling wheel, left and right click. It's very smooth. Uh, yes, it's PS2. But we have that adapter. We already plug it there. So we can just the shaking. We can just connect it like this. Disconnected. Okay. Mm, as I said, this was the reason why I bought. This HD HID 2ME, but the compatibility is not 100%. What I noticed is I still have the dual. What I noticed is that it's with the Pi Storm. Uh, I don't know why, but the mouse moves only vertically. To move left and right, you really have to do a lot of movement. Uh, but I've noticed this kind of incompatibility, it's just on the Pi Storm same adapter same truck ball on a stock amiga works um so it was just particularly unlucky uh but i tried a different truck ball and that was working really well let me show you the other one it's usb so we tested ps2 retro compatibility let's see this other truck ball. Oh, I lost the ball. Wires everywhere. Of course, you can use wireless stuff, but you know me. I like things where there are wires. Now we have the truck ball. Oh, as you can see, this one works really well. No problems with this. Yes. So, uh, mouse, mouse, mouse. I think that uh, I showed you all the mice and stuff I got here and that I've tested. And as you can see, it works really well. I have to say that uh, there is a little bit of lag. But there is lag with every uh, adapter. This is inactive development, so it's going to be better in every release. Uh, the lag, it's only on some uh, devices. There are mouses that don't produce any lag. This one, for example, the first one that I showed you, the PS2 with the adapter, with the active adapter, uh, uh, works uh, like an original Amiga mouse. There isn't any lag. But you can have some lag with some uh, some devices. Uh, let's check. Uh, let's move the camera and check the um, controller uh, support. Uh, as a first test uh, about the uh, joystick uh, support, uh, I'm testing one of the most common USB joystick uh, available, or these Chinese replicas, and I connect. <coughs> HID to arm me with it <coughs> to the joystick port. Uh, <laughs> I will succeed sooner or later. Yes, it's connected. Um, uh, right now, the um, driver, uh, the firmware of the uh, HID to arm uh, supports only uh, two buttons mode. Uh, don't support the third button and uh, don't support yet the uh, uh, CD32 interface on DB9. Uh, when it will be supported, you'll be able to map um, four, five, six, seven individual buttons plus the directions. Right now, the HID to um translates uh, all these buttons. Uh, to only two fire buttons and uh, some buttons will be um, uh, mapped 
uh, as up and down to provide uh, for example jumping on games that doesn't support uh, in this case of the um, PlayStation controller it sim simulates movements uh, of the directional pad with the analog stick you can see up up down left right if you press the buttons you see uh, in this case two it's fire one and one is fire zero and this two are map that does up and down you can come up the controller as you prefer um but i'm not covering that i'm just going to show you how this work out of the or out of the box so right now we have the directional two individual buttons then replicas of up and down on some buttons and this is the PlayStation replica USB controller. Let's go to check another thing. Let's remove this. Okay. This is the one I prefer to use. Even if right now it's not, as I said, individually um, uh, addressable in the Amiga for each button for each function on the Amiga. This is probably going to be the best to use um, when uh, firmware will be available with the uh, support for the uh, CD32 part because this got 7 button, this this got 8 but the original does, doesn't have many so this is going to be in the future fully configurable with every button that doing one thing right now you can always use it as a regular um, joystick for the Amiga not many games support uh, CD32 uh, buttons. Uh, up, down, left, right. As you can see, there is zero leg. And this one, it's not mapped. Okay, and this is the A500 Mini Joystick Joy. Then I got the last things to sh the last thing I want to show you. It's uh, the PlayStation compatibility. Uh, this is the joystick I prefer. Uh, the one I always want to use when I can. And all these is yes, here it is. That's the. The PlayStation original, as you were. Um, sorry, um, uh, joystick. So I connect it with the USB out to the other port. This is one is proper, that's port 2, and that's not going to work. Uh, I connect it on port 1, the adapter. I connect the adapter to the HD to Army on the joystick, the 9 port. Okay. With this, I have a lot of fun. Let's check the uh, basics. Move the camera a bit. Okay, so the basics are fire zero, fire nine, fire one. Uh, movements, oh, perfect. And you can even use uh, auto fire. For example, I want fire auto fire on uh, fire zero. I can use it. Set it on the on the joystick itself, and it will work even on the Amiga. This is out of fire and on fire zip. By the way, this is uh, this is the joystick, uh, the PlayStation joystick working in it. So, this was my little uh, test of the HID to Ami. This one that you saw, it's uh, a V2 board. Uh, all the functionalities of this board can be achieved uh, even on older version with some modifications. Um, this uh, project is made by Ember. Heavy Industries, it's on Geeked Up. I'm gonna add in below all the info about it. 
um, if you um, if you like this project and if you end up getting one of this you can find this right now on Ami Bay uh, there is a new an Italian user called San Pedernawa with that that he actually got some uh, or you can build your own following uh, the GitHub guide um, if you uh, end up buying one of this on or building one you can make a donation uh, to the creators um, there is uh, there is everything that's written in the description uh, I think it's very nice to have I always skipped it I have a lot of original DB9 joysticks uh, a lot of mouses um, I don't have a trackball this was this was why I got this one and I sold it in my shoe uh, but this is a very good uh, board to have uh, I would actually buy another one just to have both a mouse and the joystick um, so uh, I think it's great uh, it's a great little device uh, I hope you liked the video uh, if you like it uh, put a thumb up please um, if you enjoying seeing my uh, uh, not so pretty face uh, you can even subscribe uh, to my channel to see uh, me uh, losing my time with this awesome Amiga hobby of us so uh, thanks again for watching have a good time bye